So this morning an article came up on my phone and in this article there was a video of somebody filming their windowsill and all the stuff on it. And it was only a short video and I was like, why, why would somebody film their windowsill? And then I carried on reading and it turns out the person who'd made this video submitted it to Reddit into a 3D graphics animation Reddit. And the moderators looked at the video and they were like, this isn't 3D graphics, someone's just filmed their windowsill and they deleted the post. Here's the video, have a look for yourself. Right? So it turns out that is actually 100% computer graphics. And to me, that looks completely real. That looked like someone got their phone and just filmed their windowsill. So the person that posted this video is a 3D graphic artist called Ryan Zomorodi. And in order to back up their claims that it was 100% computer generated, that they'd made it, they didn't actually film it, they posted a behind the scenes render of the exact same scene with the exact same camera movements, but without the photorealistic finish of it, just the wireframes of the models that they'd made. You can see it here. Like, what? <laughs> How can you make something in a computer look that real? Well, they shared a few of their tips and tricks. So one of the things that makes it look most real is the camera movement. So normally, if you see like people walking around in games, the camera is quite smooth and you can tell it's linear. Um, whereas if you film something on your phone, it kind of, you've always got a bit of movement going on. So they used a program that records the movement of their actual iPhone and then they tracked that movement of the camera into Blender, the 3D software that they used. And it turns out they've only been using Blender, the 3D program, for about six months. If you don't know what it is, it's a free program that anybody can download and learn to make 3D stuff, but not normally this good. Another thing that makes it look so real is the focus and the depth of field. And they said they animated that by hand. So you see how things kind of go out of focus, and they're a bit blurry, more like it actually would be if you filmed it on a real camera. If you look really closely, you can even see reflections of a person holding a phone in like the shiny bits on the lighter and in, in the glass of the vase. So that's another reason that people thought that it was actually real, but it turns out he got a picture of his girlfriend and he strapped that to the camera in 3D so it was moving around and you could see the actual reflections of this picture in the stuff in the scene. So while it's super realistic, you won't be seeing games that you can play in real time like this at the moment because this wasn't created in real time. Rayan has a 4090 graphics card, which is the most powerful and currently most expensive consumer grade graphics card that you can buy for your computer. And even with all that power, it took about nine and a half hours to render out 1026 individual frames to make this animation. But as computing power increases, it's gonna to get to the point where we will get computer games with this level of detail, like indistinguishable from reality. So on the back of that, I'm going to put another tick in that we're living in a simulation box. Just look how far computer graphics have come. If you found that interesting, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I've put all of Ryan's social media links down in the description so you can check them out. See you in a bit.